What is up my good people? The name is Pixel Love and hold on just a quick second. Alright, crisis averted. Just needed to make sure that the last recording uh, did not have any mic issues because I'm still worried about the mic. But it sounds great, so everything's gonna be great. Anyways, in the last episode, we managed to become friends again with Aubrey. We have the entire squad back together. And we just need to wait until until the afternoon, and then we can go visit Basil. If everything, yeah, I was about to say, if everything was an illusion, then that means that I don't have my steak knife just yet. Anyways, madam, here is your big old bag of trash. Six dollars! Six dollars! You smell that fresh air. The town has been much cleaner since you youngins have started helping me pick up the trash. I really can't thank you enough. Oh, that reminds me. While I was picking up trash yesterday, I happened to stumble upon this. Please take this as a token of my gratitude. An ethereal CD. Nice. But seriously? Only six dollars after everything that I gave you? Come on now, lady. Alright. Hey, Sunny. Sorry I was so mean to you before. I think seeing you just caught me by surprise. Though I guess that's a pretty crappy excuse. I hope you've been doing okay and stuff. I'm sure everything was really hard for you to deal with. Sometimes I think I was the one that should have been there for you. I don't know if we'll really ever get over Mari's death. But it's okay to take it slow. To allow yourself to feel every emotion. And to have patience. A anyway, I just want you to know that I still care about you and stuff. I've been thinking about this since I saw you. But I think you're looking a little pale. And kind of thin too. After you move, promise me you'll go outside more often, okay? Thank you, Aubrey. Thank you. Your kind words have been have been noted. I'm just glad I'm just glad that I have me and my friends back together. It's been so long. I think I might shed a tear. I think I might shed a tear. I didn't shed a tear in black space, but I'll damn well shed a tear over here. Alright, not gonna lie guys, I, I generally might just do my work again because Lord knows that I need more Washingtons. Is there anything else over here? Oh, Charlene. Hello. Here, this is for you. Oh, thank you. Oh, I can't tag. Oh yeah, it's not an illusion, so I can't tag. Thank you, Charlene. What is uh, what does it do? Flower clip on a clip. I'll take it. I gotta, I gotta support my buddy Basil. Anyways, it is time for me to go to work. But first... Alright, you don't have anything to say. My good man, you still have work for me, right? Oh, wow, Sonny. You're taking jobs now? Look at you, all grown up. In that case, we'll come back for you later. Work hard. Alright, kid. Take a good look at those shelves behind you. And, well... I already know the rest. I'll be back in a minute. <laughs> Alright, I got your job done, Mr. Fix-It Guy. $30, thank you very much. Hey Sonny, how'd you do? Well, while you were working, I decided to play some basketball. Yep, you've already told me that before I killed, but you know what? I'm glad you still like to play basketball. Uh, look at that 75 Washingtons. That's what I like to see, baby. All right, Genos. I heard that there is a uh, help wanted sign over here. I am indeed interested in the job. This is going to be so awful again. All right. You guys already saw the fucking terrible, terrible notes that uh, I was given, so... I'm not going to beat around the bush again. Pizza delivery! 
Fuck. I'm such a fucking retard. There is an entire lane that I could have gone through. <laughs> oh my god. How retarded am I? Holy shit. Alright, well, it says yellow door with windows and cones out front, so just need to find. Just need to find wherever there's cones, I guess. There we go. Finally. <laughs> Is this the right house? Pizza delivery! Pizza's here? Yo! Let's go! <laughs> Against all odds, I have successfully delivered a pizza! Let's go! I'm crazy! A dark brown roof and flowers in the yard. If this isn't the one, I'll be uber upset! Pizza delivery! Thanks. Was that- was that the right cus- was that the right one? WAS THAT THE RIGHT ONE?! You're just a guy wanting to see. Six out of ten. Six out of ten. Let's go, baby. And it's still twenty dollars. Whatever. <laughs> uh, I'm glad. I'm glad I was able to get that out of my conscience. I'm finally. I was finally able to deliver a singular pizza. No wonder Aubrey doesn't like this. Kel's favorite soda: orange flavored coffee. It's a soda and a coffee at the same time? That sounds gross! Jeez. Oh, he's still asking me to donate. Well, I got 95 Washingtons, so here you go, my guy. Yes! I'm getting closer and closer to getting my ticket out of here! Thank you! In return, I'll play an original song. Gotta, gotta support local businesses here. I guess this is not really much of a business. He's more of a charity. You know, I, I don't know how much you have to do, but... I'm pretty sure I can find the money to at least help you out here, my guy. Yo, champs! Just going on a whim here, but would you be interested in buying off my last pet rock? They usually go for 25 but you seem like just the right guy for this one. I'll let it go for $10. $10, I'll take it. Excellent! You and your new pet rock are a good match. Whoa! Hold on a sec, Sonny. Is that a pet rock you just bought? Wow, I don't believe it. This is really strange since we haven't played since we were kids. But it just so happens that I have mine too. Right here. Such a weird coincidence, huh? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't we battle our, with our pet rocks? You still don't remember how to play, right? No, I don't. <laughs> don't worry. Even if you don't, it's really easy to catch on. You'll get it in no time. Now, let's clash! Are you ready to clash? Uh... What? What? Is this just rock, paper, scissors? Loser. <laughs> Alright, uh... He's gonna go rock again, isn't he? <laughs> All right, what are the chances he goes rock again? What are the absolute chances he goes rock? <laughs> oh shoot, I lost. I guess I'm pretty rusty. Well, that's okay. You're always the one who was good at video games anyway. I guess you're the same old Sunny after all. I know it's been a while, so let me give you a refresher. Pet Rocks is a game where you and your pets team up and battle or clash. If you wear your pet rock as a charm, you can find other players with pet rocks and challenge them. From what I hear, the rain and champ live somewhere around here, but no one knows what they look like. Kinda mysterious, huh? Who knows? Maybe we'll get to meet them one day. Oh my god, you're just making more work for me, Kel! Actually making more work for me! Alright buddy, I know you have a pet rock. Actually no, the, the guy above me has a pet rock. All right, are oh, you ready to clash? Oh, I see you have a pet rock. Did you want to clash? Okay, I've been training my tomato girl since I was a kid. I won't lose to you. You're damn right I'm ready to clash. 
All right. What is the chances that they go rock? Shoot. All right. They're gonna go. They're gonna go paper. Then I'm gonna go scissors. No! Oh my god. All right. I know for a fact you're gonna go rock again, buddy. Alright. Uh scissors. Yes sir, there's a pattern! There is indeed a pattern! Let's go! <laughs> Aw darn! It's okay, tomato girl. It's not your fault. You try your best. Alright, if I ever see if I ever see one of one of these guys who uh will change this monster to a battle? Sure, I guess. Oh my god, I did not even fucking pay attention to what was going on. What I was gonna say is, if I- if- What I was gonna say is, if I see a guy with a pet rock, I I'm just not gonna record it. I I'm, this episode's gonna take fucking forever. Alright, buddy. Eat shit. Eat shit, Jackson. Uh, focus. Focus. All right, eat shit, Jackson. <clears throat> Loser. <laughs> well, there goes the monster. <laughs> Hello? Sunny? Earth to Sunny? Whoa! A CD fell from behind a poster. Weird. I wonder who hid it there. I guess we could just take it? A Mary CD. Cool, I'm just getting fucking collectibles up the wazoo, aren't I? Hey! Job? Sure, I'll take the job. Okay! Oh, you're gonna take this job? That's cool. We'll just go hang out somewhere else in the meantime. See you soon, Sunny. Oh, what kind of job do I have now? I give you weapon. You kill flies, okay? Okay. Now go! I see the fly. Get over here, buddy! Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, now you've done it! Now you've done it! You ain't gonna leave- you ain't gonna get away from me, buddy! Mm. There we go. I can't believe you're actually- I have to, like, actually fight- fight these guys. Hey, would you look at that? It's the Bread Twins! Fresh bread. Fresh bread. Hold on, buddies. I need to take care of the flies. Bro, where's this last fucking fly? Do I, do I have to go back to you? Good job! Oh, I did. Let's go! $20! It's honest work. I was just like, where are the flies? Where are the flies? I'll also like to buy a fish. Thank you very much. Ah yes, here you are my good friend. Here are some fish. The cat left a gift for you. Bubble wrap. Cool? What does bubble wrap do? I can't get rid of the pet rock. Bubble wrap. Therapeutic packaging. Oh, fucking cool. I, <laughs> I love having useless shit. Oh, hello! I remember you. You're the boy who chose the wallpaper for our house. I see you brought your friends. If you're here for the party, I'm sorry. It's still a bit early. Oh, shoot. That's our bad. We'll just come back later. Huh? Huh? Do you guys smell that? It smells like something is burning. Eee! Sorry, one second! <laughs> Actually, um, you guys wouldn't happen to know how to cook, would you? I might need a little help with dinner. You need help cooking? Well, today is your lucky day! My brother here is an amazing cook. He'll definitely be able to cook something right up. <laughs> huh? Uh, I will? Oh, thank you. Please come inside. I completely forgot about these guys. I just wanted to find out who, who I could clash with. I'm sorry to trouble you like this. It's my first time cooking for so many people, so I'm a little nervous. No worries. We'll help you out, won't we guys? Won't we? Oh, uh, alright then. Uh, come on team. I'm gonna put you all to work. 
Huh? Wait a sec. Even me? Yeah, of course. We used to cook together all the time when we were kids, didn't we? Thank you so much. Feel free to use any ingredients. I don't have a lot, though. Don't worry. I know we can make something delicious. Well, let's get to work. Aye, aye, Captain! Alright, what do you got cooking over here, our hero? Wow! Ooh, what smells so delicious in here? Oh, hello, Sean! Our new friends were just helping me prepare dinner for tonight's party. Well, it looks like you guys are doing a great job. I'm done in setting up outside, so let me help too. Yay! Now all of us can cook together. Oh my god, that's a nice looking chicken you got there. Whew! All done. With your help, this party is going to be a great success. Thank you for all your help again. You're all such genuinely nice people. Anytime! Thanks for trusting us with your kitchen. We really enjoyed cooking with you guys. Yeah, that was really fun. Can't wait to eat everything at the party tonight. Well, we'll be waiting for you. Take care of yourselves. Ah, how, how sweet of us. You know, just, just helping people out left, right, and center, you know? But the real question is, do you have anyone who I could clash with? Doesn't look like it, unfortunately. Oh well. We'll see you guys at the party uh, later tonight. All right, hero. Are you ready to face your? Are you ready to face off? Are you ready to meet your maker? Uh, hello. Mincy is diligently sketching away. Oh, for a minute I thought the priest was able to. <laughs> I thought the priest had a pet rock. I thought it was gonna be the final boss, but no. Apparently, I guess that one loser. That one creepy guy was the final boss. What's good, my G? The spirits have been howling all day. I pray for this neighborhood. Someone will be grieving tonight. Oh no. Well, hero. You ready? This grave could use some flowers. You're damn right I could leave some flowers. Hey Mari, me again. Sunny, Kel, and Hero are with me this time. You visit Mari's grave a lot, Aubrey. Yeah, I try to. Although some days it's a little hard. You guys visit sometimes too, don't you? Every now and then. But maybe I should have visited more often. Hey Hero, how are you feeling? I'm okay. I'm glad we're all here to see her. Uh, you know what's wrong, guys? It's wrong that the dogs are already barking again, so... <laughs> hey, Mari. I'm sorry I haven't visited you yet. I was being selfish, I think. It's been so long, but... I still miss you more than ever. I'm... I'm sorry I wasn't there. I'm just... Really sorry. Hero, you don't have to be so hard on yourself. Yeah, we're here for you if you ever need us. Eh, thanks guys. Don't worry about me too much, okay? Here, for you, Mari. From all of us. Lily of the Valley. They are said to be able to ward off evil spirits and help people see a brighter future. Glad we were able to have a picnic with Mari at least. Not gonna lie, I kind of feel a little bad that I just kind of breezed through that last picnic with Mari. I didn't even bother <laughs> continuing to record it, but... Actually, there is no but. I, I, I'm, I'm sorry, Mari. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, but the real question is, can we still go through other people's house, houses? The only reason why I'm asking that is because I have tried to go through every single house around here. Trying to see if I can... If I can uh, clash with other people or whatnot. And there's actually been a good fair amount of people who I have clashed with. And so I just want to finish the deed. Here we got more trash. 
Would you look at that? Oh yeah, this is the girl that I still needed to give the seashells to, but I don't have any seashells. I looked around through everywhere, and there's nothing. Oh, wait. If you hold on. Wait, no, no, I, I can't pick up that seashell. God damn it. <laughs> I, I think that seashell was there last time as well, and I tried to pick it up, but I can't. Well, that should be every single house apart from Kells and Sunny's, but obviously those two aren't gonna have anyone who's gonna clash, so... What do we have in here? That is a massive photo y'all got there. Helen Hero's family photo. What a good looking family. No kidding, y'all look spiffy as hell. Y'all look dapper. Y'all actually look really good in that picture. <laughs> All right, anyone here at home? Doesn't look like it so far. Can Aubrey meet Sally? Oh, she's not even here. Oh, that's tough. I don't even know if Aubrey knows that Kel's a big brother now. Ah, yes, here we are. Big spider. <laughs> Hero, what the hell? Huge spider. Uh, ooh, what's wrong, Hero? Oh, I know. Uh, there must be a spider in this room. Uh, don't worry, Hero. I got you. Now, where is that pesky little? Aha! I got you now. Gross. It's all right now, hero. You can take it easy. The spider's gone. <laughs> hero, you look like you went through like a fucking Vietnam or something. What is this PTSD you got here? Show it to me. Huh? Uh, did you say something, hero? Show me the spider. Oh, that's right. Here, look. See? It's really dead. I don't think he believes it. I'm going to flush it down the toilet now, okay? <laughs> God, Hero is petrified. Holy shit. And I'm back! But the spider's gone. It's like magic. <laughs> Hero! I... What's wrong? Is there another spider in here? Okay, never mind, never mind. <sighs> Thank goodness. Hero! I feel like your fear of spiders have gotten worse. You should really try to work on that. What if a spider shows up when I'm not here? <gasps> you really think that could happen? Man, hero, this is one of those rare times where I feel like I'm the big brother. Alright, alright, for a minute I was wondering, I was like, oh, what the hell, what the hell. Alright, let's play some video games. And that's pretty much it, that's pretty much the end of that. What do we do now? Are we, are we, just, are we just supposed to dip to my house or some shit like that? I thought we were gonna hang out over here, but... There's nothing more left to do here, right? What if we were just to go in my place? It looks like the sun is about to set. Do you want to go see the treehouse now, Sunny? Sure, let's go see it. Well, here's the house. What's wrong, Aubrey? Wow, I guess you really are moving away, huh, Sonny? When I see this empty house, it all feels so sudden. But for you, moving away must have been a long time coming. I hope you can find some peace out there. Or, you know, some happiness. There have been a lot of things that were unsaid these past few years, and 
painful memories that we kept to ourselves. But even through all of that, I'm relieved that we were still able to become friends again. I'm happy that we're all here, so that we can face this together. Hero. It's okay, Hero. I'll go first. Hey, Sunny, when you move away, do you think it'd be too much trouble if you could... Aubrey! Sunny! Are you guys coming? Actually, never mind. It's nothing. Oh, what's wrong, Aubrey? You want big old Sunny to go, to go visit you guys? Give y'all a good, a big old hug here and there? I wouldn't mind, actually. You know, going back to your hometown, no matter how far away it is. The stump. It's gone, isn't it? This is where Mari... Yeah. It is. It feels like forever ago. I can still remember that day perfectly. That... That day was really busy. In the morning I went out with mom to buy some nice clothes and shoes. We spent all day shopping and didn't get home until the afternoon. I remember that day too. I went out to get a haircut with dad. Oh yeah, you were there with your dad too, Aubrey. We were preparing for something, weren't we? Yeah, we were. We were going to watch Mari and Sunny's music recital. It was supposed to be that night, but when we came home in the evening... Even after all this time, I still don't understand why she would do it. I... I don't think any of us ever will. Hey guys, let's... let's keep going. Ah, she really did commit suicide. That's heartbreaking. Wow, this thing has aged. I don't know if I can say it aged like spoiled milk or like a fine wine, but it's aged. Wow, this place has seen better days. It looks like everything is right where we left it. All of our old stuff is still here. Hey, look, here's our playing cards. I was the best at card games, wasn't I, guys? Mr. Planeg. Oh, you're so dirty. Look at all these old books. This is where all my cookbooks went. Ah! I think I just stepped on a jack. Oh man, such good times. Hmm, why do we have a toaster in here? Well, were we not big fans of toasts or something? I remember now, Kel brought this toaster in here. He said he wanted me to cook with it. Kel is such a weird kid. The calendar. The date of the recital has passed. Ah. Oh, Mr. Planet is so dirty. There. Good as new. Last picture. Don't forget, it's in the toy box. You put the toy box key in your pocket. Hey, look. Sunny found a photo of us. Y'all look so happy. Wasn't there a photo missing from the photo album? That must be it. 
Hey, you're right, Kel. Take out your photo album, Sonny. We should add it in. All right, where is it? The last photo is done. It's here. Basil's memories. Hmm. Feels kind of weird that Basil's name is on it. There. Now the photo album is complete again. You know, this is probably the last time that we'll all be in here together in this treehouse. Now that the photo album is complete, we should look through it one last time. Good idea, hero. The photo album is already out, so we might as well, right, Sunny? Let's start from the beginning. Ta-da! All summer we've been working on a treehouse in Sunny's backyard, and today it's finally finished. Hero and his dad did most of the work, but Aubrey and I made paper plants to put in the window still. We all did a pretty good job, if I do say so myself. Well... I went through the entire album, like, for the third time or already. I am done, indeed. Oh, Mari. I miss her so much. I... I miss her, too. Hey, come on, guys. Why the long faces? Look at all of us back together again. Mari would be so happy for us. Yeah, you're right. She would be. <sighs> Only Basil could be here too. Huh? Hey, Aubrey, what's up? Uh, shoot. That's not good. That is no bueno. The baseball bat, Mari used to play softball, but quit when she injured her knee. Oh, that's actually kind of dope. Not gonna lie. Uh... Where did everyone go? Aubrey? You know... After everyone drifted apart, I felt so alone. But now, I realize that I was the one who was pushing everyone away. In a few months after Mari died, everything changed so fast. Sunny and Basil became more closed off. Kel made a bunch of friends playing sports. And Hiro always seemed to be busy studying. I was so angry. How life kept moving on. I like everyone abandoned me. And abandoned Mari too. But I couldn't see that everyone was dealing with the pain in their own way. After Sunny stopped coming to school, I saw Basil sitting alone during lunch. So I asked him if he wanted to study together at his house. He seemed kind of uneasy about it at first. But after I begged him, he agreed. The walk there was really quiet. Basil wouldn't even look at me. When we got to his room, I tried to talk to him. But he said he had to go to the bathroom and ran off. That's when I spotted his old photo album on his bookshelf. I just wanted to go through the photos because, well, I guess I just wanted to see everyone happy again. But... When I opened it, Basil had blocked out all of the photographs and marker. I couldn't believe it. He had even blacked out Mari's face. All of our memories together. Felt like he had destroyed them. I was so confused and angry. I thought he was a nutcase. So, instead of trying to understand him, I stole his photo album. And started calling him creep and things like that. And eventually, I wasn't the only one calling him names. I feel like scum for that now. You know what? Ever since then, 
All I've been doing is trying to cut myself off from everyone. It's kind of funny. What I've been doing is worse than what Basil did yet. I'm the one who was angry at him. <laughs> I'm such an idiot. Hey, it's okay, Aubrey. We've all made mistakes. At the time, I didn't really understand what was happening. I was afraid that I'd somehow make things worse. So I just decided to stay out of all of it. I'm really sorry, Aubrey. And I'm sorry to you too, Sonny. I was a pretty crappy friend. You were still pretty young then, Kel. But I'm the oldest. So I should have known to take care of everyone. I... I just... Uh, no, it, it's fine. Everyone's here now. So it's okay. I don't... I don't deserve friends like you. Don't be silly, Aubrey. Of course you do. During all this time, it's pretty obvious that you still cared about us. I mean, just look at the photos in the photo album. There's no trace of any of the black marks you were talking about anywhere. You can see all of our faces just fine. I don't suppose they all just cleaned themselves, did they? It's alright, Aubrey. I promise from now on, I'll always be there for you. Yeah, I promise too. We should all be here. For each other. Hey, you know what? I think this is the perfect time for a big group hug. Group hug? Oh yeah, count me in. Wait, wait just one second. Ready or not, here we come. <laughs> group hug. Ah, uh, friendship. God, why can't some of you guys do that to me too? Like, come the fuck on, bro. Ah, <laughs> uh, we should go see if Basil's back home later today. I need to apologize to him, and I think right now he's probably the one that needs us the most. All right, don't worry. To Basil's house we go.